Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode on Piscator UK. Well, this form of fishing needs no introduction. Uh, yeah, I'm fly fishing, uh, coastal fly fishing for sea trout. As you know, uh, I do like to catch sea trout on the Bombarda. Uh, that is one of my favourite methods. But I fly fish most of my life, although I fleet in and out of it, but I'm not very good at it. Uh, I've never stuck at it, and I just thought, I need to catch a sea trout on the fly, proper fly rod and reel. I think it is the ultimate in fishing. So yeah, I'm going to give it a go. Uh, I do certainly need the practice, and I'm sure I'll get many comments on my technique or lack of it. But feel free to comment guys, that's what it's all about and uh, always up for getting some tips on any form of fishing. And like most forms of fishing, I never claim to be an expert at any of it. Uh, I just enjoy it. Got an angler fishing ahead of me. Uh, he is a subscriber. I had a lovely chat with him earlier and he actually gave me some tips. He was watching me fly fishing and he was saying do this, do that and that's what I'm hopefully going to do to just give me a bit of improvement on my cast. The tide's coming in. It's not long term. It's probably been on the flood for about I don't know, uh, half an hour or something like that. So I'm just working along the shoreline. Uh, the wind's behind me, so I'm fan casting from the shore out sort of parallel. Uh, as I can't really cast into the wind, I've just, I've not got that capability or experience to do that. So yeah, uh, really excited about this. Hopefully I can get my first ever sea trout <laughs> on the fly rod. It's a big ask, but I'm not going to catch it with the fly rod sitting in the house. The fly rod is a nine weight. It's my grandfather's rod. found it in the loft and uh, yeah, I thought I'd give it a bash. It is a bit of a beast. But I'm sure he'll be looking down on me with a, a huge grin on his face. Or he's either laughing at my technique. <laughs> the fly pattern I've got on is uh, my ever faithful blue and white sand deal pattern that I love to use on the Bombarda. I use many others but because I have such confidence in this fly, especially now this breeze has picked up, uh, that's why I've actually got it on. And because I'm just practicing, I'm really trying to find out what leader sort of setup suits me. I've got about a six foot tapered leader to a five foot fluorocarbon tippet. which is roughly about 025 diameter. Uh, I went for a shorter leader just to give me a bit of turnover, uh, just because I am learning. Especially fishing with a heavier fly, I, I just think I can't afford to go too long. been a few fish moving since the turn of the tide. So, although I'm practicing, I'm really uh, optimistic. It's 
especially that I'll have a nice breeze behind me. You may notice the bandage on my finger. And, and I'll be perfectly honest with you guys, when I saw anglers using fly fishing gloves or finger guards, I actually thought it was a gimmick. <laughs> Trust me, I actually learnt the hard way. Uh, both fingers got it, this one and that one. And uh, I'll definitely be investing in a pair of gloves or a finger guard uh, just for this form of fishing as you know sometimes you need to strip quite fast fish on guys my first ever fish on the fly I've not seen it, it feels nice.
first fish on the fly. First sea trout on the fly. <laughs> oh, you get the golf cart for that. <laughs> well, guys, first ever sea trout on the fly. Ah, uh, made up. And it's a beautiful fish. Probably about three and a half. Perfect colours. Beautiful silver. Yes, and I got it on my favourite sandy one. <laughs> Let's get this by Jai back. What an absolute beauty. Thank you very much, buddy. You have a tremendous fight.